we wanted to give you an update on the Greek super yacht Fire, the, or the fire that was on the island of Hydra in Greece, and it was uh, allegedly started by uh, people on board a Greek super yacht. Um, so we've got an update on that. And as you know, uh, June 21st, it, it happened. Um, the story is that uh, allegedly the crew or guests of that yacht, it's a charter, charter yacht, had uh, charter guests on board at the time. Somebody went ashore and then allegedly started uh, firing fireworks off or some sort of pyrotechnics, and it resulted in a fire in, on the island of Hydra in a pine forest. Um, it was 300 acres that burned. In the last video, I said 300 square meters, completely wrong. 300 acres is about 1.2 million square meters uh, for your reference. So yeah, I was mistaken in the previous video, so I apologize for that. Anyway, the Greek prosecutors have brought criminal charges against eight Kazakhstan guests, uh, charter guests, who were on board that vessel uh, for moral complicity in arson in the connection with that fire. Uh, this is based on excellent reporting by the Maritime Executive. Like I said, we're traveling right now, so my, my uh, research is MIA as well. So we're, we're using sourcing from a Maritime Executive article. I will post a link in the description if you want to read the full article, because we're not going to read out the full article. We're going to just use some examples from it. Uh, like I said in previous videos, um, the chances of them having 17 guests on a charter yacht that's only uh, able to take 12 was extremely unlikely. And this article says there were eight guests on board, all from Kazakhstan. Now, the charter guests in question who've been charged uh, actually left Greece. They, were, they, they immediately left the country and flew back to Kazakhstan on a private jet. They were questioned briefly by authorities, but they were allowed to leave the yacht. Now, the uh, uh, Greece's uh, Directorate of Internal Affairs has launched an investigation into the Coast Guard's decision to release the charter passengers when they arrived in the marina, or at the marina, should I say, even before examining the scene of the incident on Hydra for evidence. This is from the Maritime Executive article. Uh, according to a Greek outlet, the captain of a nearby yacht said this in, in his statement. He saw uh, Persephone's uh, inflatable uh, tender boat on shore as the hillside blazed. The personnel on the beach appeared to be collecting objects, he said, and uh, then the tender returned to the yacht. There were crew members in turnout gear uh, on the bow of the yacht, the captain said, and there were signs of firefighting chemicals on the water near the shore. Now, turnout gear is what firefighters wear. You know, they have their boots on the, on the ground with their trousers over the top, so when they jump out of bed, they can jump straight in. Well, we have the fire teams on board of super yachts. They'll have the same equipment that firefighters have. That's what he's referring to in that article as turnout gear. Now, that's uh, quite a damning uh, um, statement, isn't it, if that's true? I would imagine that this person who wrote this statement probably has some evidence, such as video or uh, photo imagery, uh, most, I, I would also imagine that this person who saw so much of so much stuff was probably um, using binoculars from the bridge of his vessel to see a lot of this stuff. Um, he also said that he saw um, fire extinguishers uh, on the vessel as well, on, on the super yacht, Persephone super yacht. Now, in the captain's statement last week, he denied anyone started a fire or fired any fireworks. He said no use of flares, sparklers, or fireworks of any kind was ever made by anyone on or off the yacht and in a relevant check all the naval flares were found intact now there he's referring to pyrotechnics that they keep on board for emergencies you know to alert other ships you, you've probably seen it in films where like the titanic film and that where they're firing the flares into the sky they have, also have smoke things and they, they have different types of hand flares and and projectile flares that drop parachutes with uh, pyrotechnics on them so he's referring to they did a, they did an inventory check of all that equipment, and that was all present. Now that doesn't mean that they didn't fire anything. It just means that they didn't use any of the stuff that's that's brought on for the vessel itself. It doesn't mean that somebody in the guests uh, on the guest charter didn't bring a box of fireworks to fire, right? Uh, guests are connected to the former president of Kazakhstan, according to the Organized Crime and Corruption Reporting Project, or the OCCRP. The OCCRP obtained the passenger manifest. 
I'd rather just put them on the screen so you can see. I count seven names here, but it does say this, the eight people on board included these people. So it, it would appear that one person's name is not on the list. One of the people here is, uh, is the head of Kazakhstan's largest bank and her husband. Uh, now, the, the person who seems to be the head of this group, who's who, the person who owned the private jet, uh, who flew them back to Kazakhstan, he made this statement. His name was Abul Ghazan, I believe. He said, neither, neither I nor my guests carried out any actions that could lead to a fire. We strictly followed the fire safety rules established on the yacht. Neither I nor my guests asked the crew of the yacht for any other third parties to take any actions that could lead to a fire. We will cooperate with the Greek authorities in their ongoing investigation. In light of the ongoing investigation, it would be inappropriate to comment or speculate further at this time. So that's a statement from the person who was the leader of that uh, charter, of the charter guests, it would seem. So that everybody's denying it. The captain denied that anybody on board the yacht or off the yacht, he said on or off, uh, did anything to start a fire and the get and the the person in charge of the guests who were on board also was denying it um, so it would appear that somebody is lying um, because it it would appear that they were fighting a fire uh, if the testimony of this other captain is to be believed he's he's referred to all of this stuff now the um, investigators said that when they went back to the scene a, a few days later I think it might have been a week later they found um, uh, the remnants of pyrotechnics lying on the beach. So that is definitely some direct evidence there that somebody in that vicinity was certainly firing off pyrotechnics at some point. So yeah, it's not looking good. And the captain and the first officer of that yacht are still currently in prison or in jail. Thanks very much for watching this video. You've been watching a Super Yacht News clip. If you'd like to see the full unedited Super Yacht News video, you can click on the link over here. You can also find our channel links below here. And if you'd like to see more shorter videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to this channel.